Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 with a remake of a video we made a long time ago about how to prank your friends with Terminal. And in that video, we showed you how to how to quickly do something in Terminal that basically makes it so your friends can't open whatever application they want to. Uh, you want to make it so they can't open, and it'll get frustrating and confusing, whatever. So in the tutorial before what we showed you uh, didn't really work all the time, and people have been complaining that it doesn't work. So in this video, I'm going to be clearing things up, show you how to do it in a better way that will always work. So uh, first of all, in order to do this, you're going to want to open up Terminal. Uh, I have it in my dock. You can go into your apps folder and launch it. So this is Terminal. The first thing we're going to do is type CD space desktop. Um, you can replace desktop with documents if you want to make it less apparent where you put the shell script. It doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead, once we're on our desktop, to type nano space test.sh. You can call it anything as long as it has .sh at the end of its name. All right, so here's where we're going to type our code. So I'll type while space in parentheses true space do. And then here we're going to write kill all. And then with a capital S Safari. And then on the next line done. So what the while true and done do is they make this code in here run again and again and again in an infinite loop. So it'll kill Safari again and again and again. What killing is, is basically, it's the same thing as quitting. So when you quit Safari, it's the same thing as killing Safari. It's just like, this is going to be automated. So Safari will keep on being killed pretty much instantly again and again. So let's press Control X, hit Y, and hit Enter. Now you'll see this file appear on our desktop. It's called test.sh. This is the program that we're going to be running through Terminal. Now, what you can do, uh, and this will not run once you quit Terminal, is write sh space test.sh. This will run it, and now if I try to open Safari, it won't open. As you can see, it just bounces in the dock. The thing is, let's say I go ahead and I quit Terminal. I just did that by pressing Command Q. Uh, so I go back up and open Safari, and it works again. So that's a problem. We don't want Safari to work. That's, that's not what we want. So let's go ahead again. And I'll type CD desktop one more time. And we're going to be running this in a way that it'll run even once we quit terminal. And even if we log out and log back in, it'll still be running. So what you want to do is write no hup space sh space test.sh space greater than slash dev slash null space ampersand. And this basically runs this in the background and it will no longer be attached with the terminal process. So let's hit enter. All right, so let's go ahead and try to open up Safari, and it doesn't work. Now let's quit Terminal. Let's go ahead and quit it, close, and Safari still doesn't open. So at this point, you might be panicking because you've been doing this as I make the video and you didn't watch ahead like you should, but you're probably panicking because how do I, how do I make this work? How do I get it so I can open Safari? Well, one way is to reboot, but that's a real pain in the butt. So what... An easier way is to go into terminal and type kill all space sh. And just go ahead and hit enter and now Safari will open again like new. So that is that. Let's try some different processes. So let's cd back to my desktop and nano test.sh. Let's say we want to quit Google Chrome. Well Google Chrome's process name is Google Chrome with a space. In order to put a space in a kill all statement we need to put it in quotes. So we'll say kill all and then in quotes Google space Chrome. By the way, uh, the process name which comes after the kill all statement is case sensitive and it's very important that you type it exactly as it is. So I'll have in the description the process names of a bunch of different apps. It's pretty easy to guess most of them for most apps. Um, but anyway, that's Google Chrome. So let's press control X, hit Y and hit enter. Now let's type, uh, let's type the command we did before, the no hop run that and now as you can see I can't run Google Chrome fantastic let's kill all sh and it, it's it's done now we don't have to worry about it Google Chrome will open so that is how it is done uh, correctly so that way you can run this in the background and uh, they won't be able to stop it without typing that in terminal so in the description I'll have a link to download all of these codes and I'll have some process names for some different applications so that way you can try this out for some different apps. Um, one more important thing that I want to show you guys before I finish off this video is how to make it use less CPU because you might notice if you run this for a little while your fan 
on your computer will start going crazy. And that's because it uses a lot of CPU. So let me show you how to fix this. Let me go back into editing it. Before they're done, we're going to add another line that says sleep is 0. Point, how about 0. 0.2. Okay, and I'll press Control X, Y, Enter. And now if I run this, it will, oh, whoops. Now if I run this, it'll use a lot less CPU because um, there's a little delay between each time it kills Chrome. So maybe you'll see it flicker, but it uses a lot less CPU when it's running in the background. So let's kill out SH one more time. And it's all good. So thanks for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.